Morning Mel, morning Joanne, morning Pete, morning Andrew, Mark Keith. Hi oh, Sam, morning Chris, morning Brett. I thought it would be Paul. <laughs> That's why I come here. They're just doing a cover crop, so they're just disking it up. We sprayed it. Um, morning, Jordan. Beautiful day, guys. Hey, Bruce. Morning, Andy. Morning, Bill. Tell you what, if you see any worms, that's what we could do with an old worm. That's what we could do with for our thing today. Morning, Anthony. Harry, how are you, Harry? Young Harry, how you doing, mate? Cleaned this ditch out last year and put a couple of drains in here. Because um, it laid wet. Where, where Bruce is there. To this bit here, I put a, a, a French drain in here into this ditch. Cleaned all the ditch out. Laid all this stuff in here. The old birds can nest in there. And I put another drain up here. Morning, David. Eugene, how you doing, Steve? So he's disking it up. We're going to try and find some worms in here. I haven't got him in here. I haven't got him in here just to look for some worms. But we're going to. Bruce will try and find a few worms because later on, I reckon about two or three o'clock, we're going to do the old Mr. Crabtree. Me and Uncle Bruce over there, we're gonna go and do Mr. Crabtree. What we're gonna do, Mick, how you doing? I bet you weren't expecting that, Mick. Morning, Colin. Is he watching? I can't see him watching. Anyway, we're gonna try and find a few worms in here. And uh, we're gonna basically go in the back there. This is the back end of the moat. You'll get your bearings in a minute. Here's another drain, I'll put another drain in up here. There it is there. And it's working, look. See the water? I put a drain from here, laid wet. Morning, Andrew. Um, laid wet, all, we, we had a big puddle here all the time, always laid wet, and up the top end. So I put a French drain in, done it last year. Um, put it in across here, and it's working. Cleaned all the ditch out. There was stuff all growing out everywhere over here, so we. We coppiced it all back, um, laid it all in here, and there's a lot of natural habitat there for the old birds and everything. Um, yeah, hey, I'll tell you a little story. Look at it in here. Years ago, you see all these old trees in here. I planted these 20 odd years ago. I always say that 20 years ago, and I did. I planted every single one in here. Bolt on, how you doing? Carl, how you doing? I'll tell you a story, boys, boys and girls. If you go onto my website, I've, I've, for those that don't know, I've got a new website, which is www.wallfarm. I see it say it. .co.uk. Anyway, 
in here. You go through here, there's a little ride in there. Let's go through here quickly. Thanks, Pete. You lot would be so bored if it weren't if I if you weren't here. Let me uh let me walk away. I ain't got my keys. I wanna get over the gate. You always get over a gate hidden side. Hey, I'll look up. We'll go back in there and I said. Oh! So you'll get your bit of a bearings where you are. That's the festival field. That's the festival. That's that's my bar that we use for the festival. This is the entrance onto the festival field. Oh, grass looks nice. And uh, if I come up this gate here, you'll, you might get your bearings a bit. I've just jumped over that gate there. This is, um, I, wanna, I, wanna, I ain't gonna be too long. You know what I'm like, I've just said to Cat, I'm just popping out to open the gate, I'll only be five minutes. So if you're watching Cat, I might be 10. You're boring, Bolt One. Right, Browse, how can you say I'm boring? I bet you're gutted all the pubs are closed, Bolt On, ain't you? I've been watching some of your live fe feeds, Browser. I've been watching them. I'm loving the karaoke. I don't like them bloody things. Good. Made all these gates up. I'll tell you a story about them as well. These, these poles here were part of that, what we'll use for the bar. I took the middle bits out because I wanted it so it's all all open so when uh, you get the whole view of your indoors but outdoors if that makes sense and we made this gate here completely made it this bit here you see where we are now guys this bit here is all car parking it goes right down to the hangar it's about seven acres of it it's all car parking for the festival and that is ch chocker from one end to another god do you imagine if we could do the festival this year how busy we'd be We'd be busy bees. Anyway, this is the this is the um... <laughs> Hi Joe. This is the um... This is the, the, the entrance into the festival field. I, I haven't even come here to do that. I've got side tracked tracked because I was gonna tell you a story. Oh, that's what just reminded me. I'm gonna tell you the story now. So that's the, that's the Daxonbury field. If you haven't, don't know nothing about Daxonbury and just joined us, I've got a new website. It's www.wildfarm.co.uk. Check that out and go onto a page called Daxonbury Festival. And we raise money every year for local charities. And we've got a big stage over there. I'll have a quick walk over there. Remind me to tell you about the story in here. Okay, it's important. Remind me to tell you about the story in there. I'll just walk down here. Hey, oh, damn, I ain't got my keys. I'll tell you another little story in a sec. This is lovely up here. I planted all them trees, them old Christmas trees. I planted them 20 years ago, and I, that's what I want to tell you the story about. Such a lovely day. Beautiful. There's my festival field. Look at that. We've got stripes in the grass. I don't know if you can see. I won't go all the way down there, because I'm, I'm, I'm only going to be five minutes. Look at that there. Look. That building is all made out of solid oak, all out of me woods. We felled the trees, and that is, this is no word of a lie, felled all the trees, made it up out of that. And that's the stage, that's what we use. We use that as a stage for the festival. Go onto the page, and we've also got a, a Facebook page called um, Daxtonbury Chris Kelly Cancer Trust, and last year we raised 11,000 pounds, and we give it all away. I don't take a penny out of it myself, Look how lovely it is, it's gorgeous. That field is full from top. The, the other field over the back there, let's go over there. Oh no, I was gonna tell you another story about this here. Yeah. I'll come back to this later. Remind me when I'm doing my um Remind me when I'm doing my story later on, the Mr. Crabtree one, Dax Crabtree. Remind me to come down here, I can hop over the bank. And uh, that's where me and Bruce got mullered the other night. We were in a mosh pit in there. We had uh, that's the only nightclub that would have been open in um, in England. I might go in there tonight and have a few beers. But look here, me and Chris Kelly put this gate in years ago. This one here, I brought this field a long time ago. And then in here, you see this little bit here. I'll come back later and remind me to show you in here. 
All right, don't let me forget. Let me open this gate. And you see how tiny that hole is? You see how tiny it is? Remind me to show you in there. I ain't got my keys, I don't think, I've got no keys on me. To show you. There you go. You can't have a pee up here, there's cameras everywhere. You can't have a, <laughs> if I'm having a pee, cat will say, put your dinkle away. Because we've got cameras everywhere up here. That's no word of a lie. Look at that, it does look nice. Anyway. All right, Steve. I weren't planning on doing this. I'm just wait. I've got to wait here for a half hour. I said to Cat, I'll be five minutes. This is the problem. This is why I bloody look at this. Isn't it lovely? Look, I planted all these trees years ago. Look how they're all growing up into all the natural stuff. We're just starting to get a bit of colour. When I first started doing colouring the trees, when I first started doing these live Facebook things, honest Steve, love it. It's beautiful, mate. When I first started doing them, there was no colour on the trees. There was no leaves on the trees, not colour, there was no leaves on the trees. And look at it now. Isn't it beautiful? And it lovely, look. This is the field that we have the camping on. So this is full up of camping for the Daxtonbury Festival. All right, Brian, look at that. You don't get more natural than that, do you, look? Anyway, let me go over here. Lovely though, we've got greenery on the leaves. So what we do with the festival, this is the story I was going to tell you, the festival, you come up here and you can go over this gate, I ain't got the key to get in there, but you go through that gate, through into here and we, we bend all these branches round and you go into this bit in here and we do so many different things at the festival. Check it out on the website, go onto the page, Facebook page, which is Daxonbury Chris Kelly Cancer Trust, that's the Facebook page, or on the website, which is www.wildfarm.co.uk. We've got an actual page for the festival. So basically what I did, I planted every tree in here, every tree in here years ago, 20 or 22 years ago, I should think, 20, oh shit, yeah, probably 22 years ago. And what I did, they're all like this. You couldn't see, you can see that there, you couldn't see through it at all. All right, Darren, Darren will know where we are, my cuz. And um, what I did, I sticked them all out. So all these bits here, I cut off all the way down, cut them all like it's all died in anyway. so You couldn't see through it, it was like that, literally. And this is what I created. This is gorgeous, I love it in here. So I don't know if you can see, it's all rowed up, straight lines all the way down. See it there? So I cut all these off here, cut all the branches off, and created like a canopy above. I don't know if you can see that. There's a canopy above and created this here. And in here, in the, for the festival, hanging in between the trees, each tree, we have all hammocks hanging in there. And in here, we have massage and chill out and yoga and stuff like that. It's stunning, absolutely stunning in here, beautiful. And then you've got, you've got the canopy above you. Really lovely. All right, Darren. And I, uh, we've done weddings in here before. So we've had ceremonies, so they'll be in here, on these trees. It sounds tacky, but it's not. You get baked bean cans, put them in there, and we go in the woods and pick all wild flowers out, put them in there. And then this is, we have, you can get 100 and, about 120 people in here. The bride and groom comes through here, and there's an arch down the top there, and all the guests are in here, all laid out. There's a carpet that goes up here. Or look at my website, www.wallfarm.co.uk. There's a thing in there about weddings. You can actually have your blessings and stuff like that in there. Anyway, you walk up the aisle. Da, 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 da. I've been married three times. This is bringing back nightmares. I'm not even going to do that. Anyway, here we made some old um, benches. Rustic. That's all solid oak. See it there? So the... Got a bit of bird shit on there, you might have to might have to clean the bird shit off. But that's what we did. Look, made old benches. Morning James. And um, the bride and groom's parents can all sit there and then you've got all your guests out here 
obviously the old pheasant feeder in there and stuff like that, but it's lovely, beautiful. So I've done this years and years ago, I planted every tree in here. And we're just ploughing up a cover crop. That's the other story that I wanted to tell you about. Remind me, I planted all them, all them conifers. I used to take the, take the tops out of them. And um, used to take all the tops and everything out of them. But I let them go now, let them grow up high, because it's nice, made a nice thick wall in there now. So we're just knocking this up. Wonder if Bruce found any worms in there. Remind me, at quarter past 11, I've got to go and open the gate to let him out. Oh, good, Ryan, thank you. Enjoying the kids. Enjoying it up here, mate, it's lovely. Loving it. There you are, there's an old worm. There you are, boys. Look at that beauty. He's chopped it in half. Poor old worm. There you are, there's another one. Old worm. This is what we're doing later on. I reckon about two or three o'clock, I'll show you what we're going to do. About two or three o'clock, maybe earlier than later. And if you if you're bored at home, you can watch it later. So I'll share it. I'll post it. I'm going to do a Facebook live. Not sure exactly what time. About two or three o'clock. And um, we're going to come and fish up here. Let me just move this motor out of the way. I've been up and put all the bloody rubbish. You can't fill, fill it all in. Anyway, let me move. Uh... Oh, worm. That old worm's had better days. It's been chopped in half, so has the other one. That don't apply at the moment, does it, really? I've been filling some of these pot. That was a big pot. Oh, look at that bugger. That was a biggie. I'm still in the process of doing that, so it's a lot better than what it was. So we're coming on now, onto the moat. So when you drive in, this is the way you guys will come in. You see the old fish? That's a wooden sculpture made out of oak. Solid oak, look at that beauty. Anyway, all of you lot fish all this lot here. There's 20 pegs on there, but what me and Bruce are going to do, we're going to go and get my old fishing kit. So you're not allowed up here at all. We're going to go and get my old fishing kit and um, proper old stuff and go and do that. It's got some worms. Have you seen any worms? Old magnolia bush tree. Need to cut all this lot away from that. So I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to try and catch a chub later on the old fishing rods. When I say old, I say old a lot, I know I do. You know, a couple of old worms. See the tube, that's where the chub live. But what I've gone and done, I've put some mesh here So the, there's fish trapped in here from when I've done it, years and years and years ago, when I cleaned the lake out. I've put some mesh grid there, but there's still loads of fish in here. And for over 20 years, you can see up here, it's untouched, unspoiled. So I dug it all, cleaned it all out, blah de blah cleaned everything out in here. Then I stocked it with fish in the main bit here. And the fish could go all the way around the channel back in them days. They could go all the way around, so I had no one fishing here. And um, so I've done that. I cleaned all this lake out. 
completely and utterly. Um, so it was there was nothing. There was no water in there. There was no fish. It was just like a tip, basically. Anyway, when it filled up, I stopped it and this, that, and the other. Twenty odd years ago, fish could get all the way around the back channel because this is a proper moat. Then I put the grids over it to stop it when I opened it up to a commercial fishery. But what's in here? Who knows? But we're going to find out later. So Bruce has cut. You can see, just cut a little bit back in here. So there's a little tiny hole in here. And I've got some split canes, some Tonkin cane rods. We've got the old um, perch bobbler, the old cork ones, the old reels, the old centre pin reels and that. Like. We're going to come down here with natural baits. So we're going to get some worms. We're going to get some uh, maggots. I've, we went and shot a few pigeons the other day. Morning, Richard. Shot a few pigeons. They're blown now, so we've got maggots. We've got fresh live maggots. Um, so we're going to we're going to fish natural. I think Bruce has pre-baited a couple of swims. So here, for example, you couldn't, you can't even get down there. You can't even get down here at all. There is another one. He's cut a little bit out here. See, there's branches in the water, all snaggy in that lot. But he just. Yesterday, he come down in, just trimmed a bit out, so we can just dob a float down there and see what we catch. So we've got one little spot there. That's one, two. Here, obviously, you can't even get in there. Might be able to get, look, I might be able to get a rod. Here. Yes, if I go through there, around the bank, I might be able to just get a rod in there. So that's three little spots. I'll have to get through all that wooded bit. What time today? I've got a lot of work to do, I'll be honest with you. If you look in here, this is, we'll get your bearings. I've got a lot of work to do this morning. I've got to put all the nets away because we netted a lake a little while ago. The nets are still out in there. And um, I reckon it'll be, I'd like to do it earlier, sooner rather than later. See how he's getting on in here, hang on a sec. That's better, that's gone nice and tilthy now. Morning Pete, morning Liam. I reckon, I reckon, I'd like to say two o'clock, but it might be three o'clock, but what I'll do, I'll put a little post up. I'll put the post up and um, let you know what time. I reckon two or three. What, like, we have to let them all, Harry. Every year, mate, we have to let them all. I must be doing something about right because you get little pinheads in there. That's another story. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something later. Not today. Another little gap here. Look, he's just cut a bit. That's a nice one. Remind me to tell you about the flight net. I'm going to set a trap to catch on the wild lake to catch some fish, some fry, little tiny fry like that. The other night, if you saw my, here's an up, this is, I, God, this brings back memories. Old stump there, there's, um, this is a nice one. This is the one that I want to fish on here, look. Totally unsupported. Bruce just cut a little bit back here. And look, you've got, you've got trees in the water, you've got everything in here. To I swear, honestly, this is no word of a lie, this has never been fished for over 20 years. Look, there's a massive branch in the, in the bit there. There's a lot of snags. I don't know how we're going to get on. Morning, Mark. I don't know how we're going to get on, but I reckon two, hopefully two, maybe three o'clock, I've got to get a trailer out. Look, that's down the channel. That's, the, that's what we're up against. Two or three o'clock, we're going to come and have a... Here's another one. Oh, look, we have got a few. He's done all right. We've got a few little spots here and there. Look, that's where that snag is there. We've got to be careful. That if we've... Bruce has went and cut some bits out so we can just dob in here. And there's another... This, this is about an acre and a half, two acres. Morning, Mark. Um, it's about an acre and a half, two acres, this island. And look, we fenced it off there. I don't know if you can see that. So we fenced it off here. So the fish, whatever's in here, for the last 20 odd years are stuck in this channel. They can't get out, they can't go anywhere because we've got all this lot here. So there's a bridge here and a bridge up there. But this side here, in here, this is where these old chub are. No one ever fishes up here. So all of, all of that up there was like this here. And Bruce cleared the whole lot. And we, 
we pulled all the a net through here just to get the fish out the channel because see how the wind's blowing up this way I don't know if you can see that those that have never fished here before or that, that come up here regular you want to come seriously you want to come here and try these pegs I don't let anyone go past this point see it there see there no entry no one no one ever goes in I don't let any public go up there at all but you can see I don't know if you can see on the bank cleared it all all right, morning, Doug. What time are you fishing? I reckon about two o'clock, but we're doing it old school, old school. And there's three tubes there. One, one in the middle, two. And this is where these chub are. And I'm going to try, I ain't got any white bread, but I'm going to try and dangle a worm down there and see if we can catch one there. But there's, there's actually a peg here. Look, no one fishes it. This is peg 20. On the moat. What a lovely peg, look. No one ever, it's narrow. That's what, I'm guessing that's why no one fishes it that's peg 20 this was this was as bad as it is up there we've, we've cut it all back and it beautiful Bruce has left a few little trees in there the old iris is coming up look so in another week this will be yellow completely yellow I planted these all these which you can see in here and the other bank, all the way up the other bank. I planted all them, planted everything beyond. All here, look. And this will be yellow, completely yellow. It'll be it's beautiful, give it another week. And when I f first started doing these live things, these Facebook lives, we um, we never had any, there, there was no greenery anywhere, but now look at it. It's paradise, absolutely paradise. I wanna go onto that island in a second, I need to go and get my truck fish it when we can yeah do Mel it's interesting you've got to be quiet I don't know how I want to get on but we've got to be quiet that tree's got to come out there look at <laughs> we're making daisy chains with the kids the other day so this is peg 18 okay I'm just going to walk around to the island that's peg 18 and we're on the main lake now I'm going to walk over there in a second so you get a different perspective so I'm going to walk here peg 18 those that have fished up here will know where we are now. Now we're in the main part of the lake. This is the peg that I fished the other day. I had two big unhooking mat falls of fish on there. So we're on peg 17. This is the flyer, the barbel peg. Peg 16. That's sure I can't be asked to go on the island. I'll go, I'll go there later. I've got to go on there later. We'll walk back round here. I've got to go and get my truck. We'll give it a go if I could get my truck up there. You can't, Mark, no. <laughs> eggs, you see the eggs over there? Uh, old eggs. They'll be a bit stinky. Yeah, here's the old man. Here's Dad on patrol. Peg 14. It's all on the website, as Andy Coles would say. And now we're back onto the Islands Lake. So this is the Islands Lake. Can anyone tell me the exact time? Because I've got to go and open up. Very windy today though. Very windy. I'll go up here. Yeah, let me go up here. Mark Wilson, all right, Ron. He's on patrol, Mark. He's out all the time. <laughs> And this, so we're going to, I reckon about two o'clock, two, three o'clock, we're going to do a Facebook Live. You will be able to watch it later if you're that bored. But this is what we're, we're going back to bare roots. We're going back into the olden days. This is what we've got to do. I've got a trailer in there. I've got to pull this trailer out here. There's a trailer underneath there. Get all this, put all this net in and that lot away. 10.52. Right, I've got, I've got to get back up to that gate. Don't let me get carried away. I've already have done, I was only going to be five minutes, I said to cat. <clears throat> Half his bow and arrow. Had to fix, fix the puncture the other day on the buggy. Anyway, where are we? Oh, look at that. This is what we're going to come and do. 
we're going to use stuff like this. So we've got an old rod here. Probably won't use that old gaff. I don't sit on that because I'll break that. There's a load of old fishing stuff in there. Um, but I don't know what, I don't know quite what we'll, might, might use one of them reels. Might use one of them, but these, we got some old floats, so I might use that float. Or, no, here, yeah, look, I'll use that one, that little old perch bobbler, look at that. See you later, Mark, about two or three o'clock, mate. Um, I might take some scales down with me. And uh, might, I don't know what reel, might even use that, that's a nice old reel. Might use one of these, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna come in here, me and Bruce are gonna put some new line on it. That's got line on it now. We're gonna, well, I think we should, we've got to put some new line on it. And um, there you are, I'll bring, look at that. I'll bring it, I'll use one of these landing nets. Possibly, if that, that extends. Don't know if that one does, look at that. Beautiful, all, all um, that looks like ash. Might be oak, nice oak, oak handle. I don't think I'll use that net, I think I'll be too delicate. Might use that one, because that one extends. Yeah, do you know what that is? <laughs> the, um, oh, ow. Anyway, I better go up to the, I better go up to the trunk. So that's what we're gonna do. I reckon, I need some breakfast, I'm so hungry, I've not even eaten yet. We're gonna fish that back bit of water and see if we can catch something. Well, I'm not saying, then we might not catch nothing, I don't know. As I say, they've never, I think Bruce has pre-baited, like probably put some micro pellet out or something, two spots yesterday. And um, here he is, here's the old man. Yeah, I'll tell you a story about him while I'm walking up. You see this sign here? You see that sign? Do not drive on the grass. Years ago, I used to have a... Dad? 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 He's gone, he can't, he's deaf. He won't be able to get very far because my truck's up there, isn't it? All right, Paul. He won't get far up there. Yeah, years ago, I had um, students. I used to have a business with students and that lot. Bruce has moved the truck. And, um... Tell Dad to hang on, Bruce! And, um... Oh, he's gone. Bruce, tell him to hang on! There you are. Go out and see him. I'll tell you about the story in a minute. He's moaning. Stupid place to leave the thing. Look, he's feeding that. There's my old dad. Those of you that know, no, just moaning about me. Uh... You listen to this, I warned him up. You listen to this. Dad, don't waste it. You're putting stuff on the floor. What do you say? <laughs> what did you say? Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> fucking knock you out. Don't you leave in the car, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's there, it's alright. I know, Bruce has moved the car. Oh, that's my dad anyway, <laughs> for those that haven't met him, that's my dad. If you don't get <laughs> he's, he's going around feeding each day. Say hello to everyone, Dad! <laughs> oh dear, he said, tell him to F off and all. Look. He's having to feed the fish. Yeah! 
Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh dear. He's moaning because I left the truck up there, didn't I? Bruce has had to move it, so he's at least. He's moaning like hell. I'm going to go around just in case I get a thick ear on. There he is, look. He's still alive, boys. He's, he's still alive. Hey, oh, let go. Colsey. Hey, listen. Colsey, this is for you. <laughs> any kids here? All right, seriously, if there's any kids here, close your ears now. Dad? Andy Cole says hello. <laughs> Colsey. Colsey. Colsey, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, look up. Wave at him, wave. Look. <laughs> oh dear. There he goes, happy. He's, he's, he's happy. Oh dear. Oh Dave, you just missed that. Hold on out. That's why, that's why. Oh dear, hang on a sec. That's why I can't get my dad to open up in the morning. I've barred him from opening up. Because <laughs> that's how blunt he is. Oh, did anyone know what the, what the time is? Oh, I knew I'd wind him up. I've only got to look at him and it winds him up. Oh, Linda, you've just missed that. Here, I'll see if he's at the gate. He just, my dad was just there. Here. No, he's gone. He's gone. He's on patrol. Oh, that was hilarious. Colsey. Off to the tip. <laughs> oh dear. 11 o'clock, I've got 15 minutes. Wonder. Oh, Ryan. Hey, if Steve Payne's watching, if Steve Payne's watching, then um, that's not mention the bread. Still wet, isn't it? I'm doing a video on my phone. <laughs> can that, can this bit get done or not? Or is it too tight to get to it? Yeah. Well, yeah, sort of up to, up to here if you can, would be Andy. If you can. Big old clods in there, what's drying out, look. Bit wetter on this side. Now you think, it's dry over there. And you'll think here, it, it would be dry here and not wet. Over there, strange. There's a ditch there. Anyway, he's on a mission. My dad, no, my dad is like that all the time. That is my father. He's lovely, but he does like to swear. That's where I get it from. And I try to, I try to bite it up, but for the last. 47 years, that's all I've had is F this, F that. Oh, mate. He's, he got the grump on because I left the truck here, didn't I? I forgot. I was only going to be a minute. I bet I've been an hour. I'll try and catch him. I'll try and catch him on the way back in. Quarter past 11, quarter past 12, quarter past 1, quarter past 2, quarter past 3. That's four hours. I need to eat. I reckon uh, it's going to be 3 o'clock, I reckon. 2, 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock. I remember that week in France. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> hey, Ryan, can you remember how many of us went? It was me. I'm trying to think who went. Me, you. The Greek. Hardy, Darren Houghton. Who else went? Darren I think one of my students went, Nathan. I think he went. Yeah, he's still alive. He's, he's, he's just, um, he just dropped it. You have to, because the gate's so narrow. I've done a schoolboy error big time. Because the gate's so narrow, it's only 12, just over 12 foot. I should have made a 14, 15 foot gate. And because um, it's so narrow, he can't get them discs in there. So he has to go and bring the forklifts up to um, 
he has to bring the forklifts up to, to, to get it round so it's got to be dead straight when it comes through the road. Nice to see the, the potholes in. Hemman as well, Chicken George, yeah. yeah. Martin Ryan, did Martin go as well? God, there's quite a few of us, weren't there? It's a good crack, though. Can you remember the bin? Oh, Paul Hardy posted a video, I don't know, probably six months ago, uh, about the bin with the violin. We are all had a few to drink, and, uh, oh, it's hilarious. And Steve the Greek, God, dear, with a the bread. You couldn't make it up. You couldn't make it up. I, I, I really want to catch a chub over there. My, my, a mate of mine, um, Cliff Drage, he's, he's passed away now, bless his heart. He, um, he used to fish on peg one. I used to call this Cliff's peg. He used to fish peg one and fish over there, into there, on a ledged lobworm. And he used to catch the chub and he used to come round here. <laughs> lovely old man, lovely. I, I, he was such a nice man. I'll tell you a story. With my first, second, third, first, second, the second wife, quite a few, my second wife, Wendy, I've got a lovely daughter, Romy, we built like a conservatory thing on there, he had cancer, bless his heart, and um, we built all that lot basically so he can come and he could have come and stayed with us and uh, live with us because he got cancer and he's only in by his wife, his wife died. The cancer, his son died, oh, so he had a horrible, love, nicest man you'll ever meet, nicest man. And um, he was going to come and live with us, but it never happened because I built this conservatory and he was going to come and live in there. We were going to look after him, and, but he died. But he used to come here and get maggots and throw them out on that bit there. And the, the chub used to come and swirl in the water, swirl in the water to, um, to eat all the maggots. And then he used to come back over to that. This tree weren't that big then. I'm going back along. This was only a little tree then. And he used to go over to that peg over there and fish a ledged lobworm up there. Never used to catch loads. He might catch two or three, but they were good, good ones, about three and a half pounds. So I don't know. Be very interested to see what size they are now. Very interested. When did you put the chub in there, Dax? Years ago. Ryan years ago but what I did do last what was it I think it was last year I put about five six inch chublets in there I put about two or three hundred of them in there um, in here so that, but that's in that's in the main lake over the back there I'm now on the island where Wold Farm originally was um, and that's I don't know if you can see in there that's where the Wold Farm originally was in there and um, yeah bless his heart I've got a bench round by the Islands Lake. I don't know if you've seen me on some other posts I've done. There's an oak bench there, and there's a plaque. It's, under, it's in between peg 10 and 11, underneath a lovely old oak tree. And there's a plaque on there that Cliff had done in memory of his, his wife and that lot. And that's, that's there now. That's there to this day. And I often sit underneath that and um, have a think of old Cliff. Bless his heart. So that's off, we were, I went over there a minute ago. That's peg 18, I'm now on the point of the island. So that's peg 18, peg 16's further round. And that's the channel that we, or Bruce cleaned out, chopped everything back on there. All right, Ali, there's two, so I'm on the big main island here. And over there, there's two other islands which I call the Tit Islands. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to go um, fishing in here today. I planted all this old snowberry in here years ago. Just went and dug them up from a mate of mine, Dave Wildman, Dave Borneo, Borneo, old Borneo. And um, I, I went to his farm, dug them up, and put all this snowberry in. Because I come in here and we cut everything back. We coppiced everything back in here, this side, not this stuff here, this side. This is another project, so I've got to come in here, there's a lot of stuff in it and he's chopping back. There's a well, there's an old collection well there. I was talking about that the other night, about the collection well. That's where Wild Farm originally was and 
I mow it all. I haven't mowed it yet, but I mow all this lot. It's like little. It's like a little maze in here. Kids love it in here. Cat loves it in here. And where I planted all the snowberry, there's little rides and little bits and pieces. You look all the way through there. You go through here. Go round here. And I, I plant. This is what I planted. I went and dug this from Dave's. Dave Wildman's all this snowberry, and it and it spreads out. See it all? Lovely. Like a maze. The kids love playing in here. Oh, Alfie loves playing in here. We play hide and seek in here sometimes. I'll cut it all out. It's like a, it is like literally like a little maze. Lovely back garden for the kids to grow up in there. We're all lucky, but they're very lucky. Because I've done all the work for them. That's where we're going to have a go for the chub. This is the other bridge where the chub live. And that's the back bit of water. That's where we're going to, me and Bruce are going to get the old tackle out. It must be caught past 11 now. Paul Goodfellow. Oh my God, Paul Goodfellow. Is that the same Paul Goodfellow as I grew up with? Or is that a different Paul Goodfellow? So, it's, if it's the same Paul Goodfellow as Alan Goodfellow's brother, say yes. Or if it's not, say no. If it is, if it is the same Paul Goodfellow, I went down the river yesterday and done a Facebook Live. Watch it yesterday, down the river. Lovely bit of river. And we had, I got the old photograph album out. And um, went, had a trip down memory lane. And there was a picture of Paul Goodfellow. Whether it's the same Paul Goodfellow. I don't know. This is, this is my next project. We've got to clear all this lot. This is, this is phase two for next year. All this lot, we've got to clear so it's like the other bit. Um, we've got a lot of work here, a lot, a lot of work. Cut it will be and as well. I don't know if you can see over in there. I've got to coppice a lot of that lot back. Got a lot of work to do. Beautiful though, it's all natural. Time anyone? Anyone know what the time is? Those that didn't tune in yesterday, let me walk through here. We've got another well. Got another well in here, whoa! Let's see if these old badgers are in here. They've been scratching about there. That's where they've been having a crap. But this ain't active, the badgers are in it. Not in there. There's a run across here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a run there. I used just using it as a toilet. I can't see any other holes. There's not actually living in that set. There was another rabbit set there and they dug it out. There's that well I was talking about the other night. A 70 foot well. 70 foot deep. 10 past, right? I bet it goes to the gate. 70 foot deep and I used to walk across here at night literally midnight feeding pheasants all the way through and didn't realise that was there I put all this fence in and put all the metal and grids and god knows what else over it but I'd walk across it at night literally and the only thing that was stopping me is a bit of wood whether it be plywood or what I don't know there's a bit of wood there and I'm talking 15 years ago plus now probably and there'll be pheasants hanging up in the trees everywhere Pheasants all the way up round me. I'll come here quietly, whistling along, with me bucket and a bit of corn, feeding, feeding, feeding. Because I didn't have to, I was working all the time. I didn't have time during the day to come and feed. And um, it was just, there was a bit of elderberry, same as that old elder there. And that was going across here. And that's the only thing that made me walk this way here, across here. If I'd have walked on there, it was completely rotten. I'd have gone through 70 foot, 15 foot drop. 15 foot drop to, to water and it's 70 foot of water and um, I would have been at it mate you imagine that at night flipping out they wouldn't have found me god knows how many people dad's put down there anyway that's another story that's another story I reckon he's just stopped with the tractor so he must be he must be nearly up there now He's done. Right, I'm going to have to sign off, guys. I reckon about 2 or 3 o'clock, 
I'll be um, doing this Mr. Crabtree job. Right, I've got to go. I'll catch, I'll catch up with you later.